Welcome to BadgeUp. This is a getting started tutorial which will give an overview of the major components in BadgeUp, primarily using the dashboard with a focus on Sponge users. Even if you aren't using Sponge, this should still be a good overview for you. The first thing we are going to do is sign up for an account. Go to badgeup.io and sign up. After signing up, we'll be directed to the dashboard at dashboard.badgeup.io. What you will see is the main page for the Smashosaurus Rex demo application. This demo application comes with every new account and is meant to demonstrate how you can use BadgeUp to add achievements to a game. The first thing we'll want to do upon logging into the dashboard is create a new application. Let's create a new application called Test with the description Test. Now since we are going to be looking at achievements that already exist, we'll be switching back to the Smashosaurus Rex demo application. Active subjects are the number of players or users that have sent an event. By default, these metrics are all for the last 60 days. If we go to the Achievements tab on the left side panel, we can see a list of achievements. Let's use the gear icon to edit one. Let's edit the Anger Management achievement. You can see that we have a name and description. If we look at the Criteria section, we can see that there is one criterion. By the description, we know that it evaluates to true when the player smashes 10 or more objects. BadgeUp has the capability to evaluate large sets of criteria using grouped AND and OR operators. Criteria can also be used in multiple achievements simultaneously. You can't see this on the screen, but by default, achievements may be earned only once per subject. Optionally, we can set the Earn Multiple option to true to let the subjects earn the achievement more than once. Now that we understand how criteria and achievements fit together, let's take a look at criteria in detail. Let's edit the criterion that was used in the Anger Management Achievement. You can see that we have again assigned a name and description. Criterion key field is used to match against incoming events. For Sponge, these events are automatically sent by the plugin. You just need to determine what event key you are listening for and put it here. There are two types of criteria, basic and dynamic. Basic criteria simply perform comparisons and are very fast to evaluate. Let's expand the dropdown and look at the possible comparison operators. As you can see, there are quite a few operators. The most useful ones will likely be greater and greater than or equal to. These are represented as at GT and at GTE, respectively. To the right, we can specify a threshold. When the metric associated with the above key, smash, is greater than or equal to the threshold, 10, the criteria is evaluated to be complete. We'll talk more about metrics in a minute. Dynamic criteria allow you to execute a piece of custom JavaScript code, perform complex arithmetic, look up information about other players in BadgeUp, or make calls to your own servers. As long as the code executes quickly and is small enough, your imagination is the limit. On to awards. Awards may be attached to achievements and can be used to give subjects items or other perks when an achievement is earned. Like criteria, these can be used by multiple achievements. The Smashosaurus Rex demo application does not have any awards, so I'll show you the built-in Sponge plugin awards. As you can see, we have quite a few awards that are based on in-game items. Let's edit an award. Let's pick the Where's the Meat award and take a look at the data. As you can see, this is simply a JSON object with three keys, type, item type, and quantity. The Sponge plugin understands that Minecraft colon cooked beef quantity 64 means give the player a stack of cooked beef, better known as steak. In the case of the Sponge plugin, you can look up the item IDs online. We mentioned metrics when speaking about criteria thresholds. Metrics are a collection of values for a given subject. These might include distance traveled, logs chopped, or zombies killed. They contain a current snapshot of everything BadgeUp knows about a subject. When an event is processed, it modifies a metric. For instance, if a player were to chop a log, an event would be sent to badge up with the increment modifier. This would increase the log's chopped metric by 1 and trigger the evaluation of any criteria listening to the metric. Let's take a look at the metrics the Sponge plugin has sent badge up for my player ID, Dr. Corporate. 
First, I'll need to look up my UUID online. Then, I'll simply paste the UUID in the dashboard. We have metrics for everything from distance traveled to items picked up, placed, and dropped, and even player join and disconnect events. All these metrics can be used to create a unique player experience. I hope this overview of BadgeUp was helpful. Happy achieving!